Okay, I haven't done this in a bit. I'm live. I'm getting ready to take a set. My homeboy, Jake Plot, and uh, dropping my GN. I've got a lot of questions about where should I set my stance up when I wakeboard? Hold on, that is dirty. Hey, that's better. No filter. Uh, where should I put my bindings? Now, number one, that's a personal preference, so that's really up to you guys. Um, but what I would say is, hey, what's up, Trevor? Hey, um, what I would say is that um, everybody's going to be a little bit different and I generally set people up on an average stance. So this is my board here. Um, I go with the middle settings. Let me spin the camera around here. I go with the middle settings. So I've got one on the outside, one on the inside, and I'm going to go anywhere between 12 and 15 degrees, kind of wherever it lands. I'm not too picky, um, but I have, but I have learned that if I am um, riding a bigger board, um, I might adjust my stance accordingly. And I definitely found out when I tried to ride my smaller board, my 134, because I was like, oh, I'm gonna try it. I tell people to size up. What about sizing down? I rode the 34 with the normal stance setting, and it made the board feel tiny. So then I moved it into the narrow stance setting. Um, and it made the board feel bigger, which was interesting, but it was so narrow that I just did not like it. The time that I do ride a narrow stance is when I'm riding cable. I get a little bit more nose or tail out there for the presses, and so that is why I do that. Um, people will say shoulder width apart. It's really up to the to the person. Um, Jake, do you, what do you ride? All the way in, all the way out, or middle? Uh, middle, 12 and 12. Hey, me too. <laughs> And that's where you're gonna find most people riding. Some people go all the way out. Rusty Milanowski, all the way out. Um, but uh, it's it's really something that, you know, shoulder width, eh, kinda, but really um, find out as far as like what feels strong for you. You wanna be wide enough so that when you are bending your knees, you can let your hips drop straight below uh, into your board. Um, if you find that you're breaking at the waist a lot, sometimes if you put your stance out a little bit wider, it could help. So, um, hey Jake, you were in Minnesota yesterday, they're saying? Yep. You took a, Tom Schneider took a picture with you. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, um, the, the other thing is angle, like how, what is the correct angle? So when you have your foot on the board, if you find that, sorry Jake, I'm not really helping with the boat right now. <laughs> You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> if uh, if your foot is kind of pressuring to the outside, here, Jake. Um, after here, here's my boat. That's my boat. Here, we'll get this tied up, and then I'll have you hold the camera just for a second. And the wind's picking up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna throw this rope on real fast. New uh, surfer, new hyperlight surfer thing, sick. It's called the satellite. It's really cool. Okay, Jake, can you hold this just for a second? Okay. So I'm pretty short and I'm short legged. Vertical, sideways? I've been going sideways. So okay. Um, so I, like I said, I'm pretty short and uh, I go middle setting. If you're riding and you feel like your foot is pushing against the boot, add more angle. If you feel like the interior of your knee is getting a little bit sore or feels like a weird pressure, take some angle off. Like I said, everybody's different. Everybody's build is different. So um, that's it. It's like, don't break it down too much, but when you get on the board, feel free to try and move it around. Here's a little secret. When I ride my 144, I actually ride my front foot all the way back and my back foot in the middle setting. Reason being is if I go in the middle setting on both of those, it's uh, in, like an inch wider on the stance, I believe. But either way, middle setting on my 144 feels too wide for me. So I actually ride tail heavy. Shh, don't tell nobody. Uh, Jake, we're gonna ride, so. All right. That is uh, stance, stance Chat 101. <laughs> um, if you can't hear him, turn the volume up. I hear him fine. Somebody can't hear. Brett, I haven't ridden that wake, so couldn't tell you. I'm riding this puppy, my G23. 
Arturo, you have yours angle nine because you used to have it in 12, but the outside of my foot used to hurt a little. Perfect. So uh, I'm not going to be in the Dallas Boat Show. Jack Brown, what's up? Blanket shit. Not me, dog. Uh, any quick questions before we go? We're going to ride. I'd love to take you along, but it's just the two of us right now. You guys want to see? Oh, here's, here's a peek of the best, best gas fill in town. Hey, let me uh, loosen this rope so you can get closer. Um, so, yeah, we're in Florida. It's January 27th. It's slightly chilly. I'm going to wear a wetsuit. Jake, you wearing a suit? I am, yes. You just got back from uh, the cable park, though, right? Yep. Is your wetsuit wet? It is very wet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I hydrofoil? Um, sometimes. Here is one that I have been trying out. Haven't written in a while. Brett, you're sweet. Okay, you guys ready for the best gas fill? Let's use one of my race cans, Jake, to really show it off. Make sure you take off the breather. You guys ready? Okay, race can. Kobe Mika says drop and fill. You don't even have to uh, let it go into this. Jake, I, it goes so fast, I just hold it up. Look at it. And, whoa, you really let her, let her go. <laughs> Six gallons. Nice. Here's Jake's can. Give it a shot. Uh, Australia, I think the question was, when am I going to Australia? I'm not going to Australia this year, guys. Couldn't make it work. And that's the uh, the true drop and fill. You just drop it and fill it. Uh, placing the camera on the boat. I don't have a mount right now, but I need to work on that. Sorry. <laughs> it's chilly out, Jake. Yeah, I don't know if we can do it. No. <laughs> Balmy 70 degrees. Right? <laughs> You just go back from Minnesota? Yeah. Boat show? Yep. yep. Hey, guys, hit up your local boat shows. I've been to Chicago. I went to Milwaukee. Both freezing, but everybody there was awesome. And people were buying wakeboards and skis. Of course, surfers, but like wakeboards and skis, right? Yeah, it's making a comeback. That's what sure. I'm talking about. <laughs> I just did a uh, combo ski shoot the other day. You were, you were nice. not around. That was a good time. You guys want to see my combo skis? Here's some of my toys. Here's my combos. That's my feet on fire step off. And uh, there's some Murray Juniors. There's the old swell surfer. That's a good one. But I'll tell you, this new satellite, I'm really liking this. This is a new. Hey, you're making it, I'm making it look like my boat is not organized, but I actually keep it pretty organized. I got my lead wake towels. Those are my changing towels. Yes. Shane Cook, you buying some combos or what? <laughs> Jake, I'm not much help right now. You're doing everything. I'm, yeah, okay. just, <laughs> I'm just chatting. I'm sorry. Hey, you ride since you're warmed up. Okay. I'll, I'm coming back to the dock. Who are we kidding? I'm not getting in that water. <laughs> All right, we're going to hop on the boat. Oh, how do you see these, um, Steve from Wake Nation? I definitely know Steve Jones up there at Cincy. You know Steve Jones runs Wake Nation now? I did not know that. Yeah, I've known him for a long time, since before Denver, since before, before like, Mile High. Now he's, uh, he was in Sacramento before. Um, all right, y'all. I got to drive. I got a full seat. You're going long sleeve spring. Right on. Anyway, uh, okay. Hey, guys. Thanks for checking in. Um, quick questions. You know, anybody? I don't know. I need to look at these. Where? Um, oh, look at that. Favorite boat at the moment. Uh, definitely the Paragon. Uh, but the G23, hands down, is like one of the best you can get behind. Um, 
Corey, I used to wake skate, and then one of my biggest accidents happened on that one. Not so much wake skating anymore. Uh, Brett, send you, send you one of the Murray Juniors. I only have those, honestly. I just got that new one. Jake, uh, Tom couldn't find uh, your new... Jake couldn't find me your new board, Sean. Did you really try? I did. I did. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> Ryan Walker, right on, man. When can you do a back roll vid soon? Teen Extreme, go look. Um, I did Learning Your First Inverts. Go uh, my playlist and wakeboard, wake surf instructionals. It should be on there. And... Uh, yeah, uh, Salt Lake Boat Show, took you time, I am going to be there. I'll be there, almost for the whole thing. Uh, Thursday through, I'll be there like the 7th, 8th, 9th, or something like that. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm probably going to hit the mountain. Yeah! So, um, anyway, hey, you guys, this is Impromptu. And uh, I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, questions and comments, put those below because I truly do read them. I try to keep up with them. And you guys can see that. What's up, Simon? Hello, hello. And Thad Nermy, he worked out here with me today on my backyard. Here, I'll show you. Here's my backyard gym. Thad worked out with us there today. Um, not the Cincy Boat Show. Simon, love back at you. If I was not sponsored by Nautique, would I ride other boats? I mean, I would, but my favorite boat, you ask anybody else, this is it. I won't, I mean, yeah. Iron, <laughs> oh man. But, uh, man, that, ah, that is gnarly. That, what would happen with Kobe Bryant? Insane, absolutely insane. Um, man, you guys keep firing with the questions. I'm trying, the boat right now. Simon, you just checked in, this is it, right here. And uh, I have not helped Jake one bit get the boat ready. <laughs> So I better start doing that guys. I got to keep the videos coming. I've been really busy I have not been able to get some edits done, but I've got one that's in the works working on some combo skis It was really fun. Had a fun day with Jake Schneider um, and uh, Dan Danilo Palma I ride 23 23.2 and I ride 75 feet so um, And uh, what's up Quaid? Right on. Hey, I would love to go to Argentina. I'd love to travel. Sometimes I can make it to different places. I am busy. I'm trying to squeeze in a set right now. And then uh, I got to head to a parent meeting at school. So um, it's all good there. It's just the, the quarterly parent meeting. Um, hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Questions and comments. Do those below. Enjoy your ride and peace.